facts about the ocean video um, but I decided recently that that was not the best thing to do um, at this time um, I like the ocean but I was never really that interested into it like as a topic to talk about such as with space so I wanted to be um, and come from a place of uh, genuine and authenticity um, because I like doing videos that I like to do not that other people like to do um, so with that said I um, wanted to talk about um, this class I took I took a class in angelic healing and I think it's a very um, educational course to learn about the earth and how it's connected on an energetic level again this is just what I've learned from this course um, I've been reading studying up on a lot of things lately a lot to learn different things to put in videos so I have something to talk about you know I always need something to talk about so I can't just get it out of thin air so I need to um, spend the time and learn and like um, I'm kind of gonna do two other videos with what I've learned from this course but this is just one of the things of the many things that the course has taught me I have a whole list of notes here that I've written
the different wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation, including light, radio waves, and x-rays. So that's what I was talking about. Now that's called the electromagnetic spectrum. I actually wrote it down here in, uh, in a timeline order, so to speak. Um, there are the gamma rays, which are the um, shortest wavelength at under 0 0.01 
grace that inspires people, and you can lift people's energy and spirit without much effort. Seven, you accept others wherever they are, even those that some can't even tolerate. Eight, you always see a silver lining in every situation, and you always see the good in people. Nine, you think in terms of possibility and potential. Ten, you have incredible gifts in the areas of writing, art, music, and healing. Eleven, people seek out them out to release fears and other painful memories and emotions. Twelve, you aren't so great about managing responsibilities, time, or boundaries. Thirteen, as children, Earth angels have a tendency to be diagnosed with various cognitive disorders because of their lack of concern for the material world. Fourteen, you have no tolerance for anyone in pain. It's your nature to reach out to those who are suffering. Sometimes this means that you attract people who have a victim mentality. Fifteen, you feel lost when faced with extreme anger, and you tend to avoid conflict. You want to experience only happiness, so avoid confrontation when possible. 16. You constantly worry that you are bothering others. You frequently apologize and check in with those around you to see how they are feeling about you. 17. It disturbs you when you can't sense that your loved ones are connected with you. 18. You are not comfortable with your physical body, especially your feet. As an angel, you have trouble staying grounded. 19. Those around you often ask, where did you just go then? Because it seems you are often daydreaming or not paying attention. You often provide an alternative or big picture perspective in group settings. 21. You aren't competitive in your personal or work life. You want to see everyone win. 22. You can serve others without drawing attention to yourself. You give without being seen and work as an invisible force behind the scene. 23. You are sensitive to urban settings and the reality of modern life. 24. You have a tendency to feel different or even alienated from others. You can remember because you're being teased as a kid because of your different interests and behavior. 25. You have a tough time being a part of crowds because you feel overwhelmed by the energy of so many different people. 26. You grew up feeling that you couldn't relate to your immediate family. You feel less connected with your physical family or you were set specifically to an emotionally distant or dysfunctional family in order to help them. Like your life purpose. 27. People you don't know very well tend to tell you incredibly personal things about themselves. 28. People tell you that you look younger than you are. 29. History of addiction in your family. 30. You have a clear and strong sense of purpose. Even though you may struggle to know how to manifest this purpose on earth, you know you must work to help teach and heal others. And 31. You love the idea of freely spreading love, compassion, and guidance. So those are 31 signs and symbols that you may be an earth angel yourself, guys. Thank you for joining me in this wonderful journey. Um, I'm telling you right now, um, half of those I felt connected to, the other half I didn't, so I don't think I am personally, but if you are, let me know in the comments below. And just this whole thing about the elemental beings, like love, earth, angels, you know, all that stuff is so fascinating to me. And I can't wait to actually add that into the crystals world and do the healing through the crystals with the power of angels. Like, that's just an incredible thing. I can't wait to do in a video for you guys. So, thank you for joining me. Please be sure to subscribe.